Kingdom, chapter 578. So, what we got in this chapter is that we learn that Chogaryu wants to attack Chen while their stamina is low. He believes that he should attack on the 12th day because he doesn't want to attack them while their food is completely depleted because he believes that they will fight with even more passion when there is completely no food left. Yo Un questions whether Chen's right wing will fall that easily, but Chogaryu says, nah bruh, it'll work. Then we get reinforced once again that Chen's food supply is low and that they have barely anything to give the rest of these soldiers. We are once again reminded that Karyo Ten can't come up with a plan. She's waiting for Ozen to do something, but Ozen isn't doing shit. He isn't sending reinforcements, and he show sure as hell ain't letting Ohan take over the right wing. This is when we get the beautiful talk between Shin and Ohan, where essentially Ohan says that they need a morale boost, or more specifically, an awakening. Shin believes that this is impossible because if this was something that could be done so easily, then they would have already done it by now, but Ohan insists that they must take their armies to another level if they want to get out of the situation. Ohan and Shin think about it for the rest of the night, but they come up with no ideas. However, we see that on the 12th day, they have achieved this awakening. Now, contrary to what my mood made depict, I thought that this chapter was okay, but okay at best. I said last chapter that Hara is trying to mend the relationship between Shin and Ohan, and maybe mend isn't the right word, but obviously he's trying to improve their dynamic. So if that was Hara's sole reason for having this talk between Shin and Ohan, then I'm good with it, I'm fine with it. But this talk lasted almost half of the chapter. It was literally nine pages. And I get what Hara is trying to accomplish with this talk, but this is shit that Shin and Ohan should already know. I mean, even Shin, by the 12th day, he was going to realize, like, we are not going to have any plan. Karyo Ten can't help me. Ozen isn't trying to help me, so I have to do something myself. So this conversation felt both necessary and unnecessary at the same time because on one hand, I understand what Hara's trying to do with Shin and Ohan, but on the other, again, Shin and Ohan already know what they have to do. So just because Ohan threw in a fancy word like awakening, it doesn't change really anything. And going earlier into the chapter, we see that Chogaryu wants to go super flex mode on Quinn while their food supplies are already running low. And this I seriously question, even though he gave the explanation of an army is going to fight stronger when their food supply is completely dry. But it's like, this is Reboku's plan. This is a battle of attrition. Stick to the goddamn plan. Kyo Un was understandably cautious. He's like, yo, like, you really think Chen's right wing is just going to fold like that? And he's like, yeah, nigga, it'll work. And I'm positive this underestimation of Chen's right wing is going to prove to be fatal to both Chogaryu and Kyo Un because we see at the end of the chapter that both Ohan and Chen's army have awakened. So I'm pretty sure next chapter we'll get an epic speech from both Shin and Ohan, but I'm scared that's going to be the only epic thing we get in the next chapter because the pacing for these last couple of chapters have been bad. So next chapter we should see a morale boost that even exceeds when Mobu hiked up his own army. And I'm not even going to speculate on what Ozen is fucking doing because for the past I don't know how many chapters we've been saying Ozen's got a plan, Ozen's got a plan. I'm tired of saying it every fucking review, so there. I honestly feel like Hara is trying to recreate that desperation that we felt at the battle of Sai in the Coalition War. But for me, I don't feel the same about this situation, even though we can see Chen's food supply running low, because I know Ozen is going to have something cooked up. I know some people predicted then that the Yotoa army would show up at the battle of Sai, but they were out of sight, out of mind, so when it did happen, it was unexpected. With this whole Ozen shit, he's the supreme commander, so we know he has to make a play. He has to. He has no other option. So at this point, we're just waiting chapter to chapter to see what Ozen is going to do. But that's it for my thoughts on this chapter. I'm hoping that this pacing will pick up soon, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. 
But that's it for this review. If you enjoyed this video, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Saskita Savage, out.